I am going to make chickpea burgers today. For this recipe, I am using one whole can of chickpeas or you can um, soak one cup of chickpeas and boil it. And then I have some garlic, two tablespoons of plain flour and spices, curry powder, coriander powder, pepper and some chilies. Then one onion, one egg and some chilies, fresh chilies and half a cup of fresh bread crumbs, coriander leaves and some salt. To start this I am going to add the chickpeas into the food processor. Add the chickpeas, then the plain flour and the spices, garlic. chilies and onion and add the egg too and process this about one minute it takes only a few seconds so into that because it's little runny still I'm adding the fresh breadcrumbs if you feel your chickpeas are runny you can add uh, fresh breadcrumbs that depends on the liquid that you have in the food processor so I'm adding coriander leaves and just going to do three four pulses that's it so I'm going to transfer this into a bowl the mix is little uh, sticky still so I'm going to add a little bit more breadcrumbs and if you can leave this in the fridge before you work it's really easy to work with ha not having a uh, meat every day try to be a little vegetarian some days and this is really nice in kids lunch boxes and also for burgers or even you can make it to fit into uh, two, two slices of bread. Take a bowl like this, roll it properly between your palms without pressing it to make a firm bowl and press it down until you get the right size for your burger and you can leave it in the fridge or even you can freeze this in the fridge without cooking when you have free time you can make this and leave it in the freezer and when you want it you can put it in a grill pan and um, grill it or even in a non-stick pan so what to do take baking papers cut into this size put in between a baking paper and a um, burger like that you can store it in the freezer so I'm going to make all of them now the pan is hot so I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil or you can spray um, the pan too so onto that I'm going to add the chickpea burgers and cook this on each side about two to three minutes because already the chickpeas are cooked so it won't take time I turned one down that now it's ready so I'm going to turn all like that and this is a really easy way of eating um, pulses or even vegetables and the aroma is really nice and I'm going to cook this again about two minutes the other side the chickpea burgers are ready to serve if you are really busy you can uh, make this in uh, 15 minutes and I hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching